in blue. Space Explorers between the lines. Three, two, one, go. Quarterfinal match number two underway. Red Alliance looking to play some cargo and they get it done. Blue Alliance looking to do the same thing. Can they get it before the sandstorm's done? Yes. Now Extreme Heat's over at the player station getting a hatch panel from their human player. 5438's doing exactly the same thing for the Red Alliance. Meanwhile, the Red Alliance places this second piece of cargo into the Red Alliance cargo ship. 4573 is going to get a hatch panel on the front of the cargo ship for the Red Alliance. While 102 places a third piece of cargo into the Red Alliance cargo ship over on the Blue Alliance side. Extreme Heat has a hatch panel. They want to put it on the front of the Blue Alliance cargo ship as their teammates place a third piece of cargo. 90 seconds left, six points between these two alliances. Parallel Universe picking up another piece of cargo. Placing it in the front of the cargo ship successfully. Still just four points between these two alliances. The Gearheads looking to place a sixth. And they do. 4573 is trying to get that hatch panel to stick on the front of the cargo ship. While 5438 paying attention to their rocket ship, placing the hatch panel successfully. Planet Primus is not stopping either one of these alliances as Parallel Universe spaces more cargo. Still just three points between these two teams as we approach the 30 second mark. Six cargo in each cargo ship. Last 30 seconds. Parallel Universe looking to get that climb to have level three. Over on the Red Alliance side, Gearheads looking for level two. 4573 looking for level two. Nine seconds left. 223, Extreme Heat. As Parallel Universe achieves have level three and, and Extreme Heat gets have level two as time runs out. Stand by for the final score officially. Thumbs up from the scorekeeper. Score is going in. The Blue Alliance takes quarterfinal match number two with a score of 59 to 48.